wait. Hello there, and welcome to the EpiDirect presentation of 2024. What you just saw was a small itsy bitsy teaser trailer for a game project that's in very early development. Echoes, a Splatoon story. This is a Splatoon-themed horror game that takes place after Splatoon 2, where the player gets to control Araya, a young Octoling girl who finds herself lost in a facility that was once well known in the sights of Inkopolis, and must find a way to escape while also avoiding creatures that may have intentions of harm. More details on this project will come at a later date. Lastly, shoutouts to Weebird46 for the trailer music and Vulpixie for the voice acting. Let's not waste any more time and talk about some videos that'll be coming soon. This is Champion's Road, a Splatoon 3 mod that is, I quote, a collection of custom levels for Splatoon 3 that tries to strike a balance between difficulty and fun. Yeah, that last part's a whole damn lie. <laughs> Apostrophe lies matter. Fuck! Oh, what is that? What? I did, what? Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> like, there's... No there's no way! As you can see, fun is not part of the equation. Expect a full gameplay coming next month, in February. I'm sure the OGs would remember this game. Last Halloween, I've decided to replay one of the silliest but also funniest games that used to be on this channel, Mario in Animatronic Horror, a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that's inspired by one of my favorite horror games, Mario the Music Box. In this video, you'll see some of the most hilarious dialogue that's ever shown in a video game. Open the door, I only wanna play. Why do you sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Here for me, um. Oh no, did you go to the pub again? I just not do this. <laughs> Open the door. No. <laughs> <He saw. laughs> this 50 minute long video will also arrive next month. Stay tuned. That's right, my channel memberships have been fully updated, along with brand new emojis, rewards, badges, and a whole new tier, the Epi tier. This is an exclusive update for those that are voluntarily supporting this channel financially, which benefits me into making bigger and better content for you all. Let me briefly go over the new tier, as well as the new rewards that I have added. The Epi tier will be available at a $2 monthly price and will provide access to the new emojis and badges, exclusive community posts, streams, polls, sneak peeks, and finally, be best friended on my Switch, which will give you an allowance to make your own PB slash SR rooms in Splatoon 3, or any other Switch game. The regular $5 tier has also been updated with brand new rewards. Members would still get shoutouts and videos and streams, but also receive exclusive perks on my Discord server. Yes, I finally broke down and listened to all of your prayers, the link is in the description. You guys have fun there. And finally, a special discount for my brand new merch store. Let's check that out, shall we? Hey you! Have you ever wanted to have Epi's face on a shirt? Fill your closet with cursed Epi stickers? Well now you can! Go to www.epi.store to check out the new embroidered shirt, hoodie, hat, mugs, and holo stickers. <laughs> and holo stickers. More will be coming soon if there's demand. If you don't like it, then get a refund. 100% money back guarantee. Thank you, bye bye. <gasps> Alright, we have the membership stuff out of the way. It's time to look at some more upcoming videos. In this video, you'll be watching me play two Splatoon fan games that share a specific genre that I love. Horror. The first game I play through is... Dead Zone. A game based on the backstory of a very specific octoling, known as Deadfish. And the next game is actually an old friend of mine, Squid Proxy. A Splatoon Slender clone where you play as an inkling boy trying to find a number of diodes while avoiding a creepy stalker. And also has the weirdest partner ever because of how she smiles the whole way through before you get captured and possibly deaded. It's so loud. 
expect to see Dead Zone and Squid Proxy in one video coming late February. As we all know, the Frosty Fest just happened, with Solo taking the glory. But what if I told you that I've recorded myself playing the Splatfest? Watch me go from a solo fan to a solo winner, because there's definitely not a time where I get upset at players who made the decision of not picking the team that gets looked down on the most. Oh! I said something that I don't know if I should keep it. <laughs> no, please. No, don't do this to me. Ah! Expect to see a funny highlights video coming either this February or this March. As we are nearing the end of the presentation, it's best for me to give you a massive update when it comes to streaming. You may know that I stream on both YouTube and Twitch, and I've been thinking about where I'd be streaming the most when I come back from my break. Originally, I was going to put all my focus on Twitch, but I don't want to leave you all behind, especially with my unpredictable upload schedule. Some may not own a Twitch account or because they prefer YouTube as a streaming platform. To counter this issue, I will be streaming on YouTube when it involves viewers such as Splatoon 3 Private Battles, Splatfest, Salmon Run, Big Run, and possibly other Switch games. And Twitch will be used for solo slash collab streams, playing games outside of Splatoon, or whenever I get bored or feeling productive. To those that don't follow me on Twitch, or that want to use any of my stream VODs as background noise, I have made an entirely new channel called EpiVods. There, you will find every single Twitch VOD uploaded there in case you missed one or more. And to end off this specific update, here's a clip of something you should expect starting tomorrow. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. Tomorrow, I will be playing private battles with viewers on YouTube, and potentially play one of my favorite games, Lethal Company, over on Twitch. That is it for the streaming update, which means it's time to end off the EpiDirect of 2024. But of course, there is one more announcement. Thank you so much for being patient with me while I was gone. Thank you so much for watching. And now please, take a look.